अपलोड योर मेडिकल रिपोर्ट टू एन ए आई एप इट कैन एक्सप्लेन इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज डेवलपिंग एट एन अनप्रेसिडेंटेड स्केल एंड स्पीड एंड बींग एडप्टेड एंड डिप्लॉयड इवन फास्टर प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने फ्रांस की राजधानी पेरिस में आयोजित तो वैश्विक एआई शिखर सम्मेलन को संबोधित किया इस शिखर सम्मेलन में उन्होंने पूरी दुनिया को आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के पूर्वाग्रहों से सावधान रहने को कहा है उन्होंने इस बारे में विस्तार से बात की कि कैसे आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इंसानों के दैनिक जीवन में महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभा रहा है उन्होंने एआई के लाभों को सभी के साथ साझा करने की वकालत भी की है प्रधानमंत्री मोदी ने कहा कि एआई का विकास काफी तेज रफ्तार से हो रहा है इसे और अधिक तेज गति से तैनात किया जा रहा है उन्होंने बताया कि एआई से संबंधित मुद्दों से निपटने के लिए वैश्विक मानकों की जरूरत है अपने भाषण में पीएम मोदी ने कहा कि हमें अपने संसाधनों और प्रतिभाओं को एक साथ लाना चाहिए और ओपन सोर्स सिस्टम विकसित करना चाहिए जो विकास और पारदर्शिता को बढ़ावा दे और दुनिया को लाभ पहुंचाने के लिए पूर्वाग्रहों से मुक्त गुणवत्ता वाले डेटा सेट विकसित कर सके आपको बता दें कि फ्रांस की राजधानी में पीएम का जोरदार स्वागत भी हुआ तो वहीं उनके इस भाषण की चर्चा भी पूरे विश्व में हो रही है Excellencies, friends, let me begin with a simple experiment. If you upload your medical report to an AI app, it can explain. in simple language free of any jargon what it means for your health but if you ask the same app to draw an image of someone writing with their left hand the app will most likely draw someone writing with the right hand because that is what the training data is dominated by it shows that while the positive potential of ai is absolutely amazing there are many biases that we need to think carefully about that is why i am grateful to my friend president macron for hosting this summit and for inviting me to co-chair it friends ai is already reshaping our polity our economy our security and even our society ai is writing the code for humanity AI is writing the code for humanity in this century but it is very different from other technology milestones in human history AI is developing at an unprecedented scale and speed and being adopted and deployed even faster 
there is also a deep interdependence across borders therefore there is a need for collective global efforts to establish governance and standards that upload our shared values address risks and build trust but governance is not just about managing risks and rivalries it is also about promoting innovation and deploying it for the global good so we must think deeply and discuss openly about innovation and governance governance is also about ensuring access to all especially in the global south it is where the capabilities are most lacking be it compute power talent data or the financial resources friends ai can help transform millions of lives by improving health education agriculture and so much more it can help create a world in which the journey to sustainable development goals becomes easier and faster to do this we must pull together resources and talent we must develop open source systems that enhance trust and transparency we must build quality data sets free from biases we must democratize technology and create people centric applications we must address concerns related to cyber security disinformation and deep fakes and we must also ensure that technology is rooted in local ecosystems for it to be effective and useful friend loss of jobs is ai's most feared disruption but history has shown that work does not disappear due to technology its nature changes and new types of jobs are created we need to invest in skilling and reskilling our people for an ai driven future friends there is no doubt that the high energy intensity of ai needs to be looked into this will require green power to fuel its future india and france have worked together for years through initiatives like the international solar alliance to harness the power of the sun as we advance our partnership to ai it is a natural progression from sustainability to innovation to shape 
a smarter and responsible future. At the same time, sustainable AI does not only mean using clean energy. AI models must also be efficient and sustainable in size, data needs and resources requirements. After all, the human brain manages to compose poetry and design spaceships using less power than most light bulbs. Friends, India has successfully built a digital public infrastructure for over 1.4 billion people at a very low cost. It is built around an open and accessible network. It has regulations and a wide range of applications to modernize our economy, reform governance, and transform the lives of our people. We have unlocked the power of data through our data empowerment and protection architecture. And we have made digital commerce democratic and accessible to all. This vision is the foundation of India's national AI mission. That is why during our G20 presidency, we built a consensus on harnessing AI responsibly for good and for all. Today, India leads in AI adoption and techno-legal solutions on data privacy. We are developing AI applications for public good. We have one of the world's largest AI talent pools. India is building its own large language model considering our diversity. We also have a unique public-private partnership model for pooling resources like compute power. It is made available to our startups and researchers at an affordable cost. And India is ready to share its experience and expertise to ensure that AI future is for good and for all. Friends, we are at the dawn of the AI age that will shape the course of humanity. Some people worry about machines becoming superior in intelligence to humans. But no one holds the key to our collective future and shared destiny other than us humans. That sense of responsibility must guide us. Thank you. प्रभात खबर डॉट कॉम विश्वास वही रफ्तार नहीं